back to another review, mod review, or add on review, or whatever you want to call it. This time we're doing all of the wall. Um, this is probably going to be a shorter one, and the reason why I'm doing a shorter one this time is because last, the last one was a big one. Uh, I think it was like over 40 minutes in total, if I remember correctly. So yeah, we're going for a bit of a shorter one today. Um, yeah. So here we have all the wall. Oh, there's a lot to read here. All the wall. This had done by blah blah blah. Uh, I can't, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that. Um, what is all the wall? All the wall is an add on that back. Well, all the back. Well, I mean, but you can. It's got a. It's got hundreds of wall blocks. Hundreds of wool carpets, even furniture and vehicles. Do you uh, you how do you use it to uh, facilitate all the colours? We added a new crafting item called ink. Start with red, yellow, or blue uh, dye and mix each one with different amount different amounts of black dye. This makes different shades of red, yellow, and blue a base ink. Yeah. Uh, it's got furniture, so yeah. Uh, right here. Let's get some wool. Uh, oh, and I'm also red, blue, and yellow dye and ink. So, red, blue, and yellow. Oh no, I have tons of yellow. Let's get these crafted up. Uh, we have ink and just crash it like that. Easy, easy lemony squeeze. Now we have die, so uh, let's get some dial beam passive mob drops, which is oh. I only have one inside. Uh, I could cheat some in. Ink white, I suppose. Orange, magenta, and green. So yeah, you can make green and white wool. Well, let me just give myself 64 in. Give at P in back 64. Oh. Black dye, not green. Huh. Do I have to do in the crafting table? No. Okay, that's our window. Ooh. Free right wool, okay. <laughs> Let's make some of that, that looks cool. Uh, wool, wool, wool. Ah. Good thing I have a sheep farm. Uh, 
Let's make some room dudes. We get three chairs. Let's make some of this. Uh, and then we go up there. Uh, outside. Look at this. And it's night time, so I'm going to get out of Let's do this near the sheep farm. Yeah, and this is my sheep farm. Really simple. A couple of sheep on the grass, on the dirt block, it's like, like grass. And then up, and then up there, and all that. And fancy. This is cool, I do like it. Like, this is the wool you should be getting from the Jeff sheep. Um, instead of like normal wool. But it is a bit hard to look at. I think they should have slowed down the animation a bit because it is a bit hard to look at even for me. And like if you just like go, yeah, that that is bad. Like I you this wool need an, needs an epilepsy warning. I have to put an episode, epile epilepsy warning at the beginning. Warning! Bright flashing colours if you're. Uh, if I. Is it called photosensitivity? Is it photosensitivity? Ah. Good to switch this. I want to a wolf. Let's craft up some blue IV wolf. That is a nice blue wall. Hold on, let me go down to my storage system and grab some amazing. Yeah, there is definitely a difference. This blue is more vibrant than this blue, which is nice. I do, I do like the more vibrant blue, and it also gives you, it's like if you're on the realm, this isn't on the, uh, on like a texture pack, you still have the option to use all the blue. I don't know, maybe you, you want to do, uh, we can probably do like the old blue, better with like. Let's do red now. Um, I do feel like these are just gonna be like um, just more vibrant. And also, you do obviously do get a time uh, you can like use black dye to like just like right, maybe we do need to do that with that. No, I have no idea how you're supposed to like customize it with the black dye. Like, seriously. It doesn't seem like, like the book makes it seem like oh a super easy thing to do. Right, yeah, black base ink. Uh I need a blue dye. Ah, yeah, okay, I need black base ink, not black ink. Or black dye. Uh, yeah, that's probably why I can. Anyway, yeah, th more vibrant. Let's go very far. Uh, my inventory's getting cluttered. 
Now let's do the yellow. prefer the vanilla yellow I, and I'm not a big fan of the vanilla yellow really uh, in my opinion it looks too much like a dog peed on the carpet but this look this, this looks closer to sponge I don't have any sponge so let me just give, give that sponge uh, let's do it. yeah it is closer to sponge a bit closer is to the default yellow. Let's go grab uh, some blue dye and some uh, oh. yeah. Oh yeah, you need blue dye, not the blue thing. How did I already forget that? I get silly sometimes. I... Yeah, this is how you craft. That is quite a bit darker. That's not even like the dark dark well, dye if you had more like black dice, so yeah. Not bad. Uh, yeah, you can like craft up a bunch of different colours of wool. Um and, like different shades and stuff. Right, where oh there it is. This is red, yellow, blue. So this is basically white. That to that. Oh, it's a bit more grey than white. Why is that like grey? I don't know what I did with like. Well, it's a bit more grey than white. Magenta. Yeah, the, this is nice because it's basically just brighter, more vibrant. Wool. 
while still keeping the old one. Also, you get gem ones. Like I said, that should be a bit slower animation. It's a bit painful to look at. Let's take a look at some of the old ones. Um, I want to see if that actually glows. Uh, glowing sacks will be. Yep, I got some glow. That one might be full. Alright, let's make some glowing. Uh, let's just. Uh, Kind of that. Kind of this. Kind of this. Quickly craft yourself. I only made three yellow. No, oh, I ran out of ink. Low ink, that's why. And it's night time, which is great. Definitely a real. This is probably the biggest reason, in my opinion, why you want to download this, because it's a it's a decent animation. Like it is, it does give the, uh, it does make it look like it's glowing, and it does actually provide the light source so it's glowing, which is pretty cool. cool. And it's cooler than like the glow squids that don't. So I want to look at it quick. Uh, if I just take this, oh, wait, I have some. Two, one, three. Is this one? Yeah, that's flat. Let's give at the low. Low. Let's get this and that. And then get that into this. I want to take a look at this. I have an idea for this that I think will work really well. But Oh, yes. Right. So, the idea I, I'm having with this, take this black. And you have it like as a night sky. They look the uh, particles look a bit like stars. I I think it would look better if you didn't like have the like, the whole ceiling as this, but like having like patches of this uh, with like uh, other blocks, like just like black blocks, and uh, so maybe like uh, some white blocks, like quartz and quartz, quartz and stuff. That would actually make a pretty good night sky. And it would also be a light source, which would... Yeah. Yeah, this is decent. But, um... My only, like, um... Real... Complaint with it. Well, not really complaint, but, like... Uh... I don't know how you describe this, but... Hang up, I guess. My only, like, real hang up on this is, like... How often do you realistically use wool in a build? Because it's kind of a niche building block. So like, if you if you de if you use wool in your builds a lot, uh, then this is definitely for you. Or if you want to use like more shades of wool, 
or more vibrant wool, then this is definitely for you. But if you if you're not really much of a builder with or not you know don't really use wool or team builds, I don't then I wouldn't really re recommend this because it is it is entirely about you know, like making wool better to build with, I suppose. So I uh, yeah, I find it a bit hard to recommend everybody, but I can, I definitely I can definitely see there being people who would uh, uh, enjoy building this mod. But yeah, other than that, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next commercial review, which I am like. It's pretty much I'm just gonna get this, like, add the intros on this, get this up like this. And I'm, I'm gonna get straight away from the next one because it's a mod I wanna look into a bit. But yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy. Hope to see you guys in the next uh, mod uh, or add on or whatever you wanna call them review. And bye bye. There we go.